Look at today's headline. This is Golden Age Group oppresses low-level employees. This phone. How could such news appear? I want to ask you the same question. If this matter is true and has seriously affected the company's reputation, I will never turn a blind eye to it. Miss Fung, you are... Miss Fung, so you... I need to check it for myself. This kind of news? How did it spread? If there is really such a phenomenon of bullying employees, I'll never ever forgive it. You can't even wipe the floor clean? You, you... And you, what else can you do? A bunch of low-class people with no money and no I'm power. I'm sorry, Manager Yu. I'm gonna redo it right now. Manager Yu, if you hadn't kicked over the bucket, the floor wouldn't have become dirty. You don't have to put others down like this. Who do you think you are? You dare to teach me a lesson? I... I'm the new cleaner. So you know you are a cleaner yourself. You know who I am? I'm the manager here. If you piss me off, I'll fire you right away. Hey, go to work now. You are too lazy. Even though you are the manager, you can't bully people like this. Girl, forget it. We are just nobody trying to make a living. Just lower the head and it's over. Even we just make a living, she can't bully people like this. How are you? Do you feel pain for your kicked leg? You stinking cleaners. You want me to treat you as human beings? Don't do it if you can. Such a group of poor goss. I haven't despised you for being on it. You t Why don't you bark anymore? Didn't you have a lot of fun just now? Newcomer. My shoe is dirty. Wipe it up. What did you say? You want me to wipe your shoe? Manage you? I can wipe it for you. Oh! Who allows you to wipe by your hand? Lick it with your mouth. If you lick it clean, I'll let you go. What did you say? Sister, never mind. You just get up first. Hey, sister. You... Oh, my shoes! Are you okay? Get up. Ah! Bitch! You dirtied my shoes! Mess up your shoes is my fault. How much is it? I can compensate you. <laughs> Do you know what brand it is? The shoes is global limited edition release of 100 pairs. This pair of shoes is over a hundred thousand. You cannot afford to pay for it even if you do cleaning entire your life. What? Over a hundred thousand? Manager you? Sorry, we really didn't mean to do that. Please forgive me. Is that okay? Such expensive shoes. We really cannot afford to pay for it. Huh. If you want me to forgive you all, okay. You kneel down and apologize to me. Maybe I can spare you all. Okay, manager you. I kneel down. Sister, don't kneel down. Don't bow your head to such people. Good. Compensate me if you don't kneel down. Then resign and get out of here. Younger sister, I'm begging you. Spare me. We still have sick child at home. I can't lose this job. I kneel down. Sister, don't do this. I can compensate for the money. You can't kneel down to such people. Sister. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Director Luo, what brings you here? You're all arguing like this. Can I not come over and see what's going on? You're just in time, Supervisor Luo. I'm going to expose her to you. Expose? What do you have to expose? You're not abusing her private power insulting stuff. I hope you can handle this period of justice for everyone. Hmm, abuse of power, insulting staff. <laughs> Don't you dare hit me! What's wrong with hitting you? Manager, you works hard, earnest and assiduous. How could she do such a thing? You, how can you turn black and white upside down like that? Newcomer, I warn you, if you say anything like that again, I'll kill you. You... Listen to me, all of you. The company is conducting a self-inspection recently. Behave yourself, all of you. If you get me into any trouble, I'll make you all suffer. Forget it, girl. Manager Yu is Supervisor Luo's lover. We can't fight him. Ah, I see. Supervisor Luo, you used your power to harbor your subordinates? Aren't you afraid that the regulators will find out? <laughs> Here. I'm the rules. Don't talk about regulators. Even if President Fang comes in person, it doesn't work either. 
I'm the emperor here. She will have to listen to me. Did you? What? Do you have any relatives in the regulatory department? Relatives? Nope. I say, a powerless little janitor. How dare you confront me? From today on, the men's room all over the company. You clean it all up. What? General Manager Fang, how can you clean the toilet here? Xinhua, you don't have to worry about me. There is a lot of confusion in the company. By the way, I need you to find Luo Yodo and then I use information and give it to me. Luo Yodo is the head of logistics. This is him. This is the information about him and Yunana. General Manager Fang, do you still need to continue investigating? Of course. On top of this, Luo Yodo, there must be others. Not so. He wouldn't dare be so arrogant. Younger sister, have you finished sweeping? That's my janitor colleague. Don't let her find out we know each other. Hurry up. <laughs> Damn it. I already mentioned it to uncle. After a while, you can get a job in human resources. Really? Well, are you not sure I'm doing this? Of course, I can rest assured when you do things. I've been wanting to go to Ministry of Personal for a long time. But before I go, I need to find a new guy. Just export my bad breath well. You don't know. She soiled the shoes you gave me. Okay. But don't go for board. The company has been under scrutiny recently. Don't let it slip when it matters. Oh, I know. Fang Shulan, wait for me. Shulan, look. Sister Chen Mei, is this your son? He's so cute. Thank you, but he has a heart condition. However, I'm saving up for his surgery now. I will help him to recover. Come to me if you have any problems. I... These are their lockers. Search them! Yunana, what are you doing? My diamond necklace is gone. I think it is you who steal it. Don't wrong me. I didn't take it. It's here, in the locker. What? Fine, Fang Shulen. I knew you were bad at the very beginning. How dare you steal a diamond necklace? I said I didn't. Is there any misunderstanding? Now we have unimpeachable proof. Do you still want to quibble? I hate you cleaners the most. You are so poor that all you do is steal stuff. A bunch of losers. Settle on this term. Don't insult the cleaners. I do. So what? You shameless thief. Take her clothes off. I want to figure out what else she stole. What do you want to do? Ah, let do me go. Also belong to others? Let me go. Please, let us go. Let me go. Please, don't touch her. I can let you go. I'm always kind. However, you are a thief. Then, if you kneel on the ground, kowtow and apologize to me, and bark like a dog, I will forgive you. Is that okay? You want me to bark? <laughs> I told you I didn't steal any diamond necklaces, and I don't even know how to bark. Well, poopers like you even can be treated like a human. Don't you like to stand up for others? Let me see how you do this. Kneel. You're asking me to kneel for you? You are unqualified. I didn't steal the diamond necklace. If you don't believe me, you can check the monitor. Well, I'll do it. i let you get away with it. My son, Cheng Cheng. What? That is your son? Great. You and this son of bitch work together to steal my necklace. And you even hide this little bastard? No way. My son won't steal. It's all on the monitor. If your son didn't steal anything, why is he in the lounge? Well, well... We got a little bastard. Don't move, you little bastard. Tell me, why did you go there? I was there to give my mom a birthday present. It's my mom's birthday. Hmm. 
little bastard. You stole something as a gift for your mom, didn't you? That's why it say that the dragon gives birth to the dragon, and the phoenix gives birth to the phoenix, and thief gives birth to thief. I'm not a thief. I just pick up a flower from the roadside for my mom. How dare you push me, you little bastard? You Nana, don't be a such bully. I just want to do this. What's wrong? These poor people with no money and no power deserve to be bullied. Don't touch my son. Ah! Ah! You're in Kahoot. You must be taken to the police station. Who are you going to fire? Who are you going to fire? Xiao, Manager Xiao, what wind blows you out? Xiao Junji of the personal department. Awful. He saw me at the annual meeting. You Nana, I don't know when the matters of my personnel department was your turn to do it. Manager Xiao, not yet the two thieves of them stole my diamond necklace. For this thief, the company have no tolerance. Must be fired. Okay, don't mess with me. Have you guys ever stolen Yunana's things? Be honest. No, we really didn't steal anything. Please don't fire us. She lied and the evidence is conclusive. I, in her wardrobe, found my diamond necklace and surveillance can prove it. Okay, stop arguing. You two stole things and according to the company's rules and regulations to be fired. And this month's salary also needs to be fully deducted. Make a lot of noise here again, it's just going to take you to the police station. Manager Xiao, you can see clearly. In the surveillance, nothing was captured at all. And that necklace was deliberately planted by Yunana. We are not thieves at all. You mean I was wrong? That's not what I meant. But could you check clearer? We really didn't take anything. Impudent! Yunana is the manager. How could she possibly have wronged you two cleaners? It's you guys with sticky fingers dare to quibble here. That's it. You two, stinky cleaners? How do you compare yourselves to me? Just because we are cleaners, can be insulted at will? Xiao Junji. Keep your eyes wide open and see clearly. Who the hell am I? You... You, you are... I don't care who you are, stay away from me. Well done. It's normal that you don't recognize me, but you must know Shin Mu. Why are you mentioning Mr. Chen? He's a big shot in our Golden Age crew. Even I haven't seen him several times. Shinmu, he's my vice president. Who <laughs> what? You, such a little cleaner. How dare you say that Mr. Chen is your vice president in your dreams? On your beauty, you don't even deserve lifting shoes for Mr. Chen. <laughs> hey, what a joke. Shame on you. Why are you stunned here? Get these two thieves out right away. Don't dirt our place. Come on, Come on get, get out. out. Get out. Well, he's such a bad egg. Don't bully my mother. Xing Xing. Brad, fuck off. Xing Xing. Oh, Xing Xing. Xiao Junji, how dare you hurt people in public? Did you say I hurt people? Who saw it? I think you pushed them down. What nonsense you are talking about me? Don, I got a hundred thousand dollars in this car. If you say she pushed your child over, the money is yours. Xiao Junji, don't talk nonsense. Sister Shemai, you... Is her... She is the one who pushed over my child. Sorry, Sister Feng. In order to save Chen Chen, I have no other choice. I will be your slave in my next life to repay you. Sister Chen Mei, it's fine. Don't worry. I am damned useless. I can save my son. I deserve this. Chen Chen. You wake up. Chen Chen, does it hurt? Mom, I remember. It's that sister who went to your restroom and put the necklace into Sister Fang's chest. You son of a bitch! You liar! You libeler! I'll beat you to death! Yunan! Children won't lie! I know it's you who trapped me. I trapped you? You shitty cleaner! You worth nothing! No one would believe you! Give it back. Manager Xiao, don't you say that. 
The money is for my son? Why you take it back? I said that for fun. You really think it's true? People like you are poor and stupid. Your son with you cannot live long. Why should I give the money to a dying person? For the funeral? How immoral you are. Sheng Sheng. Sheng Sheng is not going to die. Xiao Junji, as a manager of personal department, how can you say so? I decide to fire you. <laughs> you fire me? I'll fire you on the contrary. I'll inform other company not to offer you even a cleaner's post. No company will take you. Okay, Xiao Junji, you will regret to say so. <sighs> Hello, Shinbo. Fire Xiao Junji in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Uh. Someone who doesn't know her may treat her as Miss Fang from Golden Age Group. What an actress! If you were Miss Fang, then I would be her father. And I would be her mother. What nonsense! Nonsense! Show me the evidence if you are really Miss Fang. Miss, thanks for your kindness, but you can't brag yourself as Miss Fang. You'd better make an apology. If they don't allow you to work here, I'm afraid that you can hardly make a living. Miss Mei, I am Miss Fang. How can you keep saying that? Miss Fang is so big a boss that she couldn't work as a cleaner with me. I am really her. I'll call Shin Mu here. He can prove my word. No way. You'd really call someone to play this game with you? What is Mr. Shin? He is the vice president of the group. How can he be here? Look at you. Really a poor girl who pretends herself as Miss Fang? And we'll call Mr. Shin here? How ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If Mr. Shin really showed up here, I would take off my shirt immediately and stand upside down. <laughs> but if Mr. Shin didn't show up, you should take off yours, one after another, and serve me as a whore. How's the deal? Piss off! I must be too kind! How dare you! So what? You really believe your story? If you were really Miss Fang, I could kneel down and kowtow to you right now. Xiao Junji, what shit are you talking about? <laughs> you... You are Mr. Chen? I am. Xiao Junji, do you know who she is? She's the CEO of Golden Age Group, Miss Fang. Xiao Junji, I remember you say if Shin Mi show up, you will kneel immediately and apologize to me. You... Really, you're Mr. Shin? Say sorry to Miss Fang now. I. I say sorry to you. You told me he's Mr. Chin. You think I'll believe you? I knew it. You are just a filthy cleaner. How can be familiar with Mr. Shin? Xiao Junji, keep your eyes open. He is Shin Mu. He's Mr. Shin. Liar. You think I don't know Mr. Chin? He doesn't look like Mr. Chin. What's going on? Sorry, Miss Fang. I've been abroad with you in these two years. Xiao Junji is just a vice manager of personnel department. I didn't give orders to him directly, so he may not know me. I'm calling the director of the personnel department. Leave it, leave it. There's no use hiring some actors. Listen to me. Be realistic. Having last day dream. She thinks we don't know. I knew it. A filthy cleaner. How could you know Mr. Sheen? Yes. What? <laughs> What? Miss Fang will come and inspect in person? Mr. Xiao, what happened? Uh, Miss Fang is about to inspect each department. This matters. We must keep our spirits up. If Miss Fang is unpleasant with us, our jobs are in peril. How can this be? I warn you, during his arrival, behave. Don't ever pretend to be Miss Fang anymore. Due to shortage of manpower, you are now suspended only. After the tour, I will deal with you. Watch out. Sorry, Miss Fang. It's all my fault not being recognized by Xiao Junji, which made you wrong. This is not your fault, but my carelessness. My underlings are in disorder terribly. At this very moment, I will have Xiao Junji and Yunana fired. Hold on. This is not this simple. You mean... This is in your charge all the time. Mr. Xiao is a deputy manager. How can he be so emboldened? It seems unnecessary for me to go on pretending as a cleaner for a time. I'm wondering who are pulling the strings. But Miss Fong, you are wrong. So much this time. 
the cleaners are my staff members too. The ancient my son is going to have a surgery, which may cost 200000 Find a way to give her the money for the surgery and tell her it is a donation from our company to solve her problem. Understood. Mrs. Fu, this is the money from our company to Ding Chun Mei. Her son is dying. There is no need to give her the money. Let me take it for her. <laughs> Supervisor Luo, I'm begging you. Can you advance me a little salary? My son is seriously ill and hospitalized. The doctor said I need to chip in enough money to perform the surgery. I beg you. Get out of here. <sighs> Whether your son lives or dies has nothing to do with me. Besides, Golden Age Group have never had a salary advance before. That is what kind of poor wretch or sick wretch comes to work in our company. You are so poor going out to beg for food. It's really shame on our golden age group. Supervisor Luo, I really need this money. I'm begging you. Ding Chamei, if you ask for someone, you must have the appearance of asking for someone. Have you ever seen someone standing to ask for help? I'm begging you. Can you advance me a little salary? Ding Chun Mei, what are you doing? Why did you suddenly kneel down? Company regulation? You should know. It's absolutely impossible. Prepaid salary. Hmm, let's do this. You kowtow to me again. I personally pay 200 yuan. What money are you talking about? Of course, it's for your child. The money is for the funeral. <laughs> Manager, why are you talking nonsense about Cheng Cheng will never die? Hello, Shin Mu. Ding Chun Mei's donation. Have you not given it to her yet? Miss Fang. I gave the card to the personnel department immediately. What? Didn't they deliver it? It's the personal department again. <gasps> what are you doing? Sister Chen Mei, are you okay? I am fine. Why you again? Get out of here! No, you're there. You use violence. Can you believe it or not? Yet someone you want make it in this company? Just you. I can hit her. She begged me to do it. Sister, Cheng Cheng is in the hospital, waiting for money to save life, let alone a slap. You can take my life. Sister Cheng Mei, Manager Luo, you just said $1,000 for a slap. That was a slap. It's okay if you hit me. Sister Cheng Mei, Manager Luo has 19 more slaps. I have money to save Cheng Cheng's life. Go ahead. How could someone like that exist? They'd lose their face for a little money. It's disgusting. Manager you. For you, it's just a little money. For Sheng Sheng, that was his life. You will never understand our suffering as long as my child is alive, even a few slaps. What does it count for? <sighs> Sister Chen Mei, you don't have to do this. The company knows what's going on at your family, already donating money to you. After a while, the donation will be delivered. Really? The company? Did the company really donate money to me? Chen Mei, you trust me. Cheng Cheng is a good boy. He must live. What the nation? Why haven't I heard of it? Even with the nations, and it won't reach you, Ding Chen Mei. Poor people like you, who cares if you live or die? In my opinion, if there is a donation to your fucking son, you might as well give it to me. His life is a waste of food. Like you, have been a cleaner his whole life. Luo Yodu, you say so, are you not afraid of retaliation? Retaliation? You thought I will be afraid of it? I tell you, Feng Shulan, no donation organized by company at all. You should stop lying. Impossible. That money is my... I saw it. Miss Fang took it out. Yo, why don't you say you are Miss Fang? Saw it? Who can prove it? I... What should I do now? If I say that Shinmu saw it, they don't know Shinmu either. Definitely won't believe it. Sister Fang, did you really see see the company donate to me? Of course I did see it. And I also donated. This is real. <laughs> you poor man. How can you donate money? Exactly. You say it's a donation organized by company? So why we didn't get the message? And no one informed me the donation? In my opinion? You are lying. I didn't lie. Sister Shen Mei, you don't believe me either? Sister Fang, no, it is not. I don't believe you. It's changing. This is. Can't wait. Sister Shen Mei, Manager Luo, 
Go ahead. They are rest 19 slaps. I can stand it. What I said before. All of them are null and void. I don't want to hit you now. I'll hit her if I want to. Lawyer, do say it again. Who are you going to slap? You're exactly one slap on your face. 10,000 yuan in your pocket. Poor women like you. You may never see so much money in your whole life. Lawyer, how dare you to say that? Manager Luo, please slap me. Sister Feng is a good person. I don't want her to get entangled. This is my money. I can spend it however I like. And today, I must slap her face. Think twice. Which one is more important, your son or her face? <laughs> Sister Shemei, get up. Sister Feng, you should go. I shouldn't involve you in this. Manager Luo, how about I slap myself? Keeping your hands off. <laughs> Look at her. So ridiculous. That is why the saying goes, born low, always low. They will throw the dignity away for such a little money. Sister Shenmei, don't do that. Stand up. Sister Fang, I can't live without Sang Sang. I have a super VIP black card. You can use it for the treatment of Sang Sang. Let me have a look. What a fake card. Dare you to call it a super VIP card? A global limited edition sold to only three pieces all over the world. You are just a shitty cleaner. How can you get this kind of thing? It must be a fake one. There is the name of the owner on the back. This code is the initial letter of my name. Well play. But which bank will use the name as card code? Do you think that we are as stupid as you are? If you break the card, you can't afford the conversation even if you sold yourself. You... What are you doing here? <laughs> Miss Fang is coming for the inspection. Why are you still arguing here? If seen by Miss Fang, none of us can escape from severe punishment. Uncle, what brings you here? I am rectifying their behavior. It is Fang Shulan to blame. She takes out some fake card in order to cheat us. This is... The... The Super VIP Black Card? What? This is the Super VIP Black Card? It's impossible. It's a fake card. How can it be real? You know nothing about the Super VIP card. The initial letter of the owner's name on it is the identical feature. Now you should believe the card belongs to me. Keep it back. I'm going to the hospital with Sister Shenmei. You? You shitty cleaner. How can it belong to you? You must steal it. Manager Xiao, she stole my diamond necklace before. Now she dares to steal the Super VIP card. You must punish her really hard. What? Yunana, did you see the letter on the card? That's the initial letter of my name. Fang Shulan. This is my card. Who says the name letter reverse to the same owner, you shitty cleaner? How can you have a real card? Stop quarreling. I will take this card and find the owner. It's my card. Why should it stay in your hand? I shall tell you. Robbery is illegal. Illegal? You shall know your stealing is illegal. What is this noise about? <laughs> Miss Fu, what brings you here? Miss Fang is coming. I come here in advance. What's the noise about here? Miss Fu, look. This is the legendary limit free Super VIP black card. Super VIP card? The one with the initial letter of the owner's name as its card's code? That's right. This is mine. It's my card. Why would she say so? Oh, yes, I forgot. Your name is Fusilan, and the code on the card is FSL. That's your name for short. I'll say, who could be the owner? It's definitely you. That's right, Super VIV. Limit free. This is the card for people like me. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you are right. <laughs> this shady cleaner dares to claim her ownership. What a big laughter. Are you misful? Saying is believing. Do you have any evidence to prove the card yours? Certainly mine. Or it could be yours in your dream. Sister Fang, let it go. Chen Cheng is in the hospital. I can't wait any longer. Don't worry, Sister Chimei. This card links to my identity. The bank can confirm it. 
the area to call the bank for confirmation. Uh, um, Mr. Fu, why would you break the card? It's it's so precious. It's my card. I break it when I don't want it. Any problem? Fusilan, this is my card. How dare you? Ah, how dare you cleaner call me by my name? I say it's mine. Then it's mine. I need no other proof, man. What are you? Dare me to call the bank? Nonsense. It's my card. You are just a cleaner. How can you have a super VIP card? You'd better stand in front of a mirror to see how you look. Fusilan, you went too far. So what? You are just a cleaner. I am the minister of HR department. Your life and death is on me. So you are the newly coming less than a year minister of the HR department? You know me. Yes, indeed. Then do you know Miss Fang? Miss Fang, I come to this company not for long. I didn't say Miss Fang. But what's the connection? Because I am Miss Fang. <laughs> <laughs> you are Miss Fang. You are too poor to dream this big. Miss Fu, this cleaner called herself Miss Fang last time. She even asked the man to play Mrs. Chen for her. <laughs> How ridiculous. A cleaner should know her way. Your job is to kneel down and mop the floor. Don't stand up on my way. Or I will dismiss you right now. You won't have a second chance to beg me. All right, show me what you've got that could knock me down. Dismiss me now. <laughs> I've never heard any request like that. Okay, you ask for it. I'll be kind enough to satisfy you. Jinji. Yes, madam. Send her the email of dismissal. Very good, Fusilan. I hope you never regret your decision today. Regret? Why should I regret? I've just dismissed a cleaner. Will it be possible that you are Miss Fang? You will know later. I need to ask you, where is the donation fund I raised for Jing Chen Mei? How did you know the donation? Miss Fu, is there really a donation? What donation? There isn't any donation. I'd say you should give up the idea. There isn't any donation and Miss Fu won't lie. No. She must have pocketed it. You shitty cleaner. Should you not smear Miss Fu? She broke her precious card the moment she didn't want it. How can she take away the small size donation? That VIV card is mine. Fusilan, you are the minister of HR department. Shinmu must have given you the donation card. That's the life-saving money for Sister Shinmei. What an immoral woman. Miss Fu, if there is a donation, give it to me first. Xiang Xiang cannot wait any longer. What about... You lend it to me? After the surgery, I'll return them. What nonsense! The hundred grand is too little for me to care. You let the cat out of the bag. If you didn't take the donation, how did you know it's two hundred grand? You... I overheard from someone. Does it matter? Xiao Junji, you just say the money for the surgery. How much? Miss Fu, it's two hundred grand. Look, he told me. So I didn't take the money. That's right. A bag of Miss Fu worth a million more. Why would she take a penny? Million? Miss Fu, I beg you, please help me. Chang Chang cannot wait any longer. Your bag is expensive. You won't take away this money from us, will you? What are you doing? Let go of me! Let go of 